Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of Dissecting Donuts, a series in which I take a game of mine and I dissect it and see what I did right and see what I did wrong. Today, we are going to be using this class right here, the Amelie with a silencer foregrip. Don't take too long to look at this because we will continue on and not exactly use this for the entire game because this game is a very special game. It's a unique game in that my teammates are terrible they're awful they have zero sense of map control at all and i am going to make the most of a bad situation and uh, you can see my starting route here i missed that jump for some reason didn't get that thing so it doesn't matter i'm going to come around here i'm going to stalk around this corner and look about where they are now right there i'm going to re replay that for you all right, you heard that guy say he's he's in that place, or he yelled out something in the atrium. That's what it is. The atrium is where exactly I'm looking or going towards. Oh, well, I was going there. I turned around and I heard that guy. Um, and luckily, actually, I'm going to go back there because that was a very good learning experience. Uh, I hear the guy behind me, as you can see, uh, as I'm kind of fumbling about. I hear my teammate die and in slow motion. You can see. I am drifting right towards this cover right here, and as I'm shooting, I'm spraying, I'm spraying, I'm spraying, there's dirt flying up, but I'm going to take cover and then get that kill. So that's really the good, that's really good. So I'm going to return over here and just kind of be in the middle for a little bit, and there's that guy in the atrium like that like my teammate had just called out. So that's that's good, using those callouts to my to my benefit. This is kind of a, a sad little turn of events there, just um kind of spraying and praying just lucky at that point but you can see in my mind they're probably spawning at b and c because my teammates are over at a however they're all dying really really badly and, and you can kind of see uh all of my teammates throughout this game and i heard that guy but i thought he was underneath so unfortunate right there uh, all throughout this time my teammates are dying constantly which is giving the enemies map control uh, I think you beautiful people can understand that from there. So what I'm actually going to do in this game is something controversial, I'm going to say. I am going to hunker down and I'm going to kill Hor and I'm going to camp and it's going to be very beneficial for me. And as you'll see up here, I'm going to go and die, die from behind yet again. I'll come back, I'll remember where that guy was, I'll stock this corner, stock this corner, he should be in here, and he's dead, or not here, so uh, whatever. He probably went out, killed my entire team, and, and moved on, so uh, that's that. So right there, I saw the red dot, as well as I heard his footsteps. Good accuracy right there with the Ameli, and uh, now I am going to come up here, drop shot this guy, it's actually a good turn of events right here. I'm gonna kill this guy, but as you see right here, I'm gonna kill this guy on a Pause it. I got my sentry gun and the care package has dropped for the enemy team. What should I have done here or what will I do here? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get greedy and I'm going to try to place the sentry gun. And how's that going to turn out, Donuts? Ready for deployment. I died. Yeah, that's, that's how that goes. So I'm going to place the sentry gun here, which is actually a pretty good spot. And I'm going to move on. Uh, that was just unfortunate. That was me getting greedy. I knew because they were dropping a care package and I had killed two people, there was still one more person, and I should not have done that. I should have backed off. I should have got the gun out in cover, ran out, placed it down, and then ran back. That would have gotten me uh, my kill streaks a lot faster than they did right here. And um, right there, they called in an oracle, which is. Uh, by itself very very powerful it's overpowered in fact and so I don't have blind eye on that's why you're seeing the little uh, oracle thing come up on my screen so I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna try to play it off I'm gonna try to play it off I luckily he that that enemy it doesn't have the best um, the best accuracy I get a lot of lucky kills uh, in places that I shouldn't have so right here I'm going to actually pause it right well I guess I can't pause it we got we got a ground jammer um those are really powerful too, but right here I'm going to switch to my uh, Ripper class, as you saw right there, and look at that good accuracy donuts, very nice, very nice, payback. Um, I, I was just going to point out to you how my teammates were all in one single area, and uh, how you know bad map control is, but actually they called in another, they called in another um, Oracle, and there's another ground jammer, very, very powerful, so right here... 
I'm just gonna camp, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna camp right here. Why, though? Why do you camp, Donuts? It's because they have oracles. If I rush, I am actually at a disadvantage. It's not that camping is so much better in general. It's that camping is better in this situation because they are going to know where I am if I'm behind them, if I'm next to them, if I'm flanking. So if I'm head on head, I better, I better take cover and I better limit the options they can actually get me from. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And while I don't necessarily agree with this, I am just waiting this life out uh, to actually get... Uh, the next class, the blind eye class, and right there, that was just good accuracy. I can pick out people just fine in Call of Duty Ghosts. I want to go on a side tangent here. Uh, people say that it's hard to see people in Ghosts. I don't, I don't understand uh, that entirely, so that's that. So right here, I'm going to get my sentry gun. I'm going to return to camping, and what I was going to say about camping is kind of what I've said in a previous commentary in that camping kind of naturally gives you the techniques of being a good Call of Duty player. You're taking cover, you're limiting your lines of sight, you're aiming down sights, you're ready for people. And that is honestly what good Call of Duty players do, except on the move. And if you can get that down camping, then just practice camping in different spots of the map. Kind of break out. That's what I do. And that was such a great throw there. I, I, Good throw. I hate it. I hate grenades, but good throw. So I got my kill streaks, and for those of you who um who get bothered by it, no, I'm not going to call in my assault joke or not. Unfortunately, uh, it's just the enemy would probably take it, my teammates would probably not take it, and I would probably die before I got it. Even if I did get it, it's probably not going to be that beneficial to me. So, 25 and 5. I have a blind eye class on, I have a my anti class on, I have armor piercing silencer with a great versatile weapon. From this point forward, I'm going to be rushing hard and I'm not going to be giving up. I'm going to be relentless. I'm going to try and I'm going to watch my minimap for the rest of this time. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, watching your minimap is essential while running. Bam, right there. You see that guy? I'm going to go up here, turn around kill this guy unfortunately there's another guy right there so you know probably shouldn't have jumped down so so greatly right there so oh i saw my teammate die oh i saw my teammate die again i'm gonna pause it right there uh look at all of those guys right there mentally take note where are those people bam play it ready got you that guy in his death chat he was like how did he know right here Bam, I heard that guy. Right there, he's coming around the corner. Already, four or five kills in one life in about 15 to 30 seconds just because I paid attention to the Oracle. And now right here, oh, another Oracle. Mentally take note. Three people in B, one in back, one there, right where, where I'm shooting. So now I know there's one guy back there. There's probably a couple guys in B. So I'm going to come across right here. Oh, there's that guy. Oh, there's one guy that came out of B. There's the two rest of the guys in B. So he's going to come out right there. I'm not going to reload until I'm in cover. I'm going to come back around. I'm going to call on my Night Owl, which is so, so crucial uh, in this class. It's my new favorite thing uh, since the Maz rocket launcher. So I'm going to come over here. That teammate died. I'm going to pre-fire, turn the corner. And that guy also had no idea how I knew about him beforehand. He probably had on some... Uh, dead silence. I think he did have dead silence on, but I'm gonna return back to here because you can see again, you can see just how powerful the um, uh, Oracle is because bam, I see this guy running down the steps. So I'm going to, I'm out of ammo, I pick up a sniper rifle and I get ready. Okay, I'm leaving. I can't fight that juggernaut. I'm gonna pick up this MTAR because that's the closest gun that I had to my Ripper. There's a guy in the atrium you saw in the Oracle. I'm gonna come up here. I'm going to kind of be ready and then spray and pray, get him. And we lose. But I went 40 and 7. And if you can see right here, I'm gonna pause it. Look at my teammates. Look at my teammates. They're just trash. They're utter garbage. And I want to point out WLP Adonis. Because he went 6 and 27, but he got 24 tags. So in his brain, I bet you. He thinks he did something good. I bet you he thinks that he played the objective. No, honestly, he is probably the big reason why we lost the game. Granted, he was getting a lot of tags. That was great. But 
you're dying so much and you're not killing. That is bad. That's not something you want to do in Kill Confirmed. But at the end of this game, the enemy team, when we were in the lobby, they said, but how in the world did Donuts go 40 and 7? To which I replied, youtube.com slash donuts 21 <laughs> um, But that's kind of how I did it. You've got to get a class. You have to have one single class that counters the Oracle, the SATCOMs, uh, you know, whatever. And you have to have a Night Owl, uh, Ballistic Vest, and Oracles of your own to counter that. It's not something that I like doing. Ghost is a broken game. That's what you have to do, unfortunately. And it worked out quite well. Getting reactive, seeing your teammates die, looking at that mini map, keeping, uh, just being overall aware of every situation you're getting yourself into is crucial. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.